Good day and welcome to our short demonstration and explanation of how to sell your images online. There are many sites that do this from, well, Etsy all the way through to Getty Images, but the largest uh, and, well, the most accessible is a company called Shutterstock. And Shutterstock um, is uh, not the highest paying uh, company, so you will spend, you will sell, you know, upwards of 100 images and get something like 35 bucks for it. But at least you're selling your images. So let's get to it. So you go to submit.shutterstock.com and click sign up in the top right hand corner. Fill in the fields, pretty straightforward. Certify that you're 18 years old with the big check mark. Click next. Open your email and click the verify link. There it is. Yay. Fill out your Typical information here, residential address, mailing address. So I skipped uh, that so you couldn't see it because of course I really prefer that you don't know my address, but pretty straightforward. Okay, now uh, we're down to uploading images. What they're going to want is high quality images that are well positioned, focused, composed, properly lit, interesting photos. Now, definition of interesting, that's a different thing. Interesting to, to you may not be what's interesting to somebody else. You'll see when I upload my images that they're probably not what you were expecting or anybody else was expecting. Also, if there's a person in your images, you need to have them sign a waiver. If you don't have them sign a waiver, uh, Shutterstock will immediately reject them. Okay, so let's get to it. Got it. Upload images and I'm gonna up, I'm going to upload all of these. And as you can see, they probably aren't exactly what you expected. Now, there's a few of them I expect to get rejected. In particular, this one. You see this one? It's not quite straight. Eh, really not what they're looking for. I'm also not very happy with the composition of this one. This uh, uh, is not quite straight either. And I would prefer that this was down at the bottom, that the actual uh, content was down at the bottom but rather than at the top. But I'm going to submit it anyway, and we'll see what they come back with. So I'm going to select all of these and select open and it's going to pull them all in. Finished. Let's click next. Now we have to add the details and this is basically the metadata. I'm not familiar with that term. Metadata is just data about data. So it's the information about the image, uh, you know, things like what's in it, uh, categories, uh, that kind of stuff. And that makes it, of course, easy for people that are trying to buy your images to search for them. And here it's important to, you need to use a few common ones um, that you know you might expect, like if it's a sunset, you might want the sunset in there, but also some oddball ones because you need to stand out from the crowd. There's millions, hundreds of millions of uh, images in Shutterstock, so you want to have a few little quirks in there. Okay, start adding details. So we'll just click on the first one here. This is one I expect to get rejected, by the way. And you can see that it's already come up with a bunch of keyword suggestions. Kind of nice. So I'm going to go with green. I'll go with nature. I'll go with background. Uh, let's see here, grass. Okay, so that's enough of that. Uh, and now I'm going to put, now I'm just going to type a few things in. Lake. Smallwood Bridge. Foot, bridge, marsh. And now let's go with the description. That's 200 characters total, so that you can put in. And uh, let's, and you have to put in at least five words. Okay, so let's call this foot, bridge, in, meadow, in front of lake. There we go, that's enough and go to category one. Now these are their natural categories that you've got to deal with. So um, you can't add to these. So you just need to make sure that uh, you've got the right uh, category to start with, or you're just not going to get found. So for this one, don't put healthcare, right? That's just not going to be found. So for this one, I'm, oops, I'm going to select, I think I'll select parks outdoor. There we go. Let's go with that. And as a secondary, I think I will call it nature. 
Location is Chester Mere, Alberta. Now let's look at more options, just so you can see what they are. But your content, no, it's not. <laughs> so nothing to worry about there. And you'll recall I said if there's a person in there that's recognizable, you need to have a release. And uh, uh, there's the form if you don't already have it. Okay, so that's that. Now, uh, you think you have to click save to go to the next one, but you don't. You can just click on this one, right? And now, look, if I go back to the first one, right there they are. Okay, so I'm going to complete the rest of these, and then I'll submit them all. All right, so after 45 minutes, I've got most of these done, and you can see, I'll just flip through these quickly so you can see them. But most notably, what you'll see is these blue check marks. Uh, and uh, if you don't have a blue check mark, it's not going to get submitted. So let's go to this one and see what's wrong. Well, one of the things that's wrong is it has to have at least seven keywords. So let's add a couple. Delivery, shipping, career. There we go. Oh, got a blue check mark. Yay. What's wrong with this one? This one's got lots of uh, keywords. This one has uh, six keywords. So let's see if we can figure this one out. Warning, that's a good one. Symbol, sure, that's good. Street, traffic, road, closed, metal, sure. Well, actually, I'll remove metal. It's not, it's, well, no, we'll leave metal in, why not? Uh, barrier, there we go. So that's that, but you can see here, it still doesn't have it uh, marked as acceptable. And let's see what's wrong with these ones. Um, let's go down here. This one I don't have enough uh, thing on. Let's go with outdoor. Let's go with architectural, uh, plastic, box, that's six, uh, telephone, boom, got it. Okay, so that's seven. This one's not centered properly, and I imagine it's going to get rejected. So let's go here and see what's wrong with it. So again, doesn't have enough uh, items on it, enough uh, tags, keyword. Let's go with uh, street, light, boom, that got a seven, that's good. Now these two, I don't know what's wrong with them. So my guess is there's just something technical that doesn't like it with them. I seem to have all of these filled out. So let's now click uh, submit and see what comes up. Well, I have to check all of these. So I need to go through here and check all of these to submit them. <laughs> yeah. And as I'm doing that, I can see action required. Let's click on that, see if it tells me what's wrong. Oh, for some reason it didn't take any of the keywords. Okay, that's weird. So let's uh, clear those and get that going. I've not seen that before. So let's go with road sign. Okay, I'm going to go through and check the rest of these. Let's try submit now. Okay, so it doesn't like those two. Let's figure out why. Ah, it doesn't have five words. Okay. Um, okay, so this one, well, that's an easy one to fix. White road close sign. Well, white and black road close sign in new home construction there we go and this is same thing to no, there we go orange road close sign in new home construction zone there we go we'll call it that we'll submit these there we go now what's wrong with this one? Oh, i didn't put the check mark on it and submit there we go Let's take a look at pending and see what's there. Now you'll notice at this point we can't edit these. These have been submitted and there's just nothing much we can do. So we just sit and wait. Okay, so we will uh, wait three or four days and we'll get back to you with uh, what they accept and what they don't accept so you can see why they don't accept them. And again, uh, there's quite a, well, there's a number here I expect that they will reject. This one as an example, just not quite centered. This one's not quite straight. Uh, if it's out of focus at all, if it's just, not interesting they will reject them all right so it's been a few days and here is what has come back with the 22 images we have submitted let's see what we get here so this one it doesn't like the uh, content uh, uh, chromians <laughs> okay my street light went through visible trademark uh, if there's a visible trademark in there it's pretty small so that's a bit of a surprise spigot got approved Rejection reasons, out of focus. Okay, these are things I'm not gonna argue with, so we just sort of move on. 
uh, out of focus, uh, camera shape, okay, it looks very clear and solid to me, but you know, these are not things you can really argue, it's what they say, and that's that. So, um, yeah, <laughs> let's see what else here. So here's an interesting one, uh, title in the trademark. So this is uh, from Cadillac, and I used the word Cadillac, doesn't like it, so I will adjust that and probably resubmit it. Let's see what else we can get through here. Visible trademark, Canada Post. Yes, those are Canada Post boxes, which are owned by the citizens of Canada, so okay. Um, yeah, this one, again, it didn't like the didn't like the uh, chromians and so on and so forth. Visible trademark, what, yet again, there's a visible trademark in there. I'll be damned if I've seen it, but I'll take their word for it. Approved, rejection reasons, visible trademark. I don't believe that's the case. I think that they are, uh, you know, they're, yeah. They're being very picky. Uh, this one, again, they just didn't like, which I'm surprised at. I This is one of my more uh, interesting pictures. I quite like it. Um, but anyway, there it is. So at least you have an idea of how sort of arbitrary some of these are. And, um, you know, what you have to do to get through it. Uh, all right, so just for fun, I'll click on one of these just so you can see what uh, we entered. And not a whole lot in this one. Uh, you can see in the top right hand corner, unpaid earnings is zero, which means I haven't sold any of my graphics yet, any of my photos. So let's go to um, reviewed content. Take me right back to where we are. Nothing submitted. Catalog manager. Let's take a look through there. And you can see this is what's in the catalog. So not a huge amount, but there's a few. Top performers. This will be my sales, which of course I don't have any of. Now, at this point, there really isn't much to do other than wait. I have read a number of blogs and discussed this with a number of people who are more experienced with Shutterstock than I am. And the uh, what you really need to do is submit 5 to 20 images a day uh, to build up a portfolio uh, and let them sell them as they do. Uh, and if the money rolls in, good for you. Uh, if the money doesn't roll in, well, bad for you. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, so if you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you. Bye-bye.